personal injury court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Morton versus Abernathy. It's my understanding, Mr. and Mrs. Morton, that you are suing Mr. Abernathy for rattlesnake bites to your hand from property that you recently purchased from him. You're asking this court for a total award of $330,000, and that includes $65,000 for medical expenses, $250,000 for pain and suffering, and $15,000 for snake removal because there are still snakes on your property. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And this is a video of the snakes on your property? Yes, it is. Now, Mr. Abernathy, you don't believe this is your fault because you said you didn't know that there were snakes on their property. Yes, Your Honor. So this is as big of a surprise to you as it is to them. I had no idea. Well, let's get into the legal sauce. Now, tell me how you, you all chose to buy this property. Well, me and my wife, Kim, had been discussing having more children. We already have one four-year-old. We found a beautiful house owned, owned by the defendant. What was special about this property? From a woman's point of view. That's what I wanted. Yes. To uh, it's, look at it. It's so perfect. It, it has is the beautiful. perfect view. It's huge. I do want, you know, two, three more kids. Okay. Um, and this was perfect. It has space for a pool, a huge front and backyard. I mean, it's two acres. It's yeah. beautiful. It's perfect. Now, Mr. Abernathy, how did you come to even have this property? Well, my family has had five acres of desert land uh, all my life. Okay. And I needed some extra cash. So I took two acres of the land and I built this house on it. Um, I agree. It's a beautiful house. It's perfect for a growing family. And uh, I sold it. To these folks. So you're happy to sell them the property? Absolutely. What, what happened to the other property? The other property I've kept for myself. All right, so you all buy the house, right? And, and then what happens? Well, a couple of weeks after we bought the house, my daughter, she's getting into soccer. You know, she's, she's four. We went outside just to practice and play around, you know, kick the ball around. And it rolled off. You know, we're in the desert. You can see we have a lot of brush on our property. Sure. And uh, the ball just... It, is, it, it got into some brush far away from me. I had to go chase it down. I didn't want her to go chase it. Okay. Uh, well, I came over to the bush and I started reaching inside of it. I wasn't sure what it was right away. Okay. But I felt something just sink into my hand. I jumped back and I looked down at it and I could see there was a snake in the bush. I felt those fangs sink into my hand. Your Honor, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Snake, snakes don't just bite people and provoke. Okay. I mean, he would have had to have been messing with Now that snake, snake looks like it bites. Now, well, is this the kind of snake that bit you? That yes, Your Honor, it was a rattlesnake. And you know what? They bought a house in a desert. There are okay. gonna be snakes there. So They're not gonna have polar bears the in the desert. And so, yeah. so being out in the desert, you owned this property. Did you ever see snakes out there before you so sold them this property? Not on this property, Your Honor. Oh, you're you know, lying. I don't want to blame the victim, but it's definitely his fault if he got well, hit by Well, let me understand this. Let me understand this. You're out there with your daughter. Yes. You all are kicking the ball around. The ball goes into the bushes. You reach for the ball, and then what happens? I didn't realize it was a snake at first, but looking back on it, that I felt those fangs sink into my hand, and it was just so painful. Immediately, I, could, I felt like I could feel a really terrible burning sensation that just started migrating all through my arm. I could hear him screaming. So I that's how you knew something was house. wrong? Yes. I was inside the house, and... I could hear him screaming, the kind of scream that you just know something is bad. My mom would say those are mommy's ears. Oh, <laughs> and yes, I knew my daughter was outside too. Yes, she so was. I ran outside and I see my daughter just paralyzed, staring at daddy, and daddy is bleeding. So your, your little daughter. girl saw this? Yes. I was terrified for her to see that. There <laughs> no was blood kid everywhere. Have to watch that. No kid should have to be so in those Abernathy, circumstances. How is this my problem? I didn't know there were snakes on that land when I sold it to them. Mr. Abernathy, hold on for a minute. Okay. Now, you realize that, that he had a terrible snake bite, right? I'm sorry. With his that. little girl watching. Now, you didn't know that there were snakes on his property, That's right? Correct, Your Honor. Now, what was your idea of the property before you sold it in terms of whether snakes were on there? I didn't know there were snakes on the property. So, Mr. Abernathy, this is not your fault. No, Your Honor. Uh, did, I did not know there were snakes on the property. It's, they purchased the land, it's their land. Did it surprise you that there were snakes on the property? You did say it was the desert. It is the desert? Yeah, I've, I've never seen snakes on that land. All the time during the construction, never saw one. Now, you kept part of this property, right? Yes, I did. How about, how about your property that you kept? Were there snakes on that property? Um, can I show you? Sure. 
All right, so which one is your property? So this property is mine over here, 14. That's the three acres I kept. Okay. Um, number 13 is the property that I built the house on and sold to the Mortons. The house that was shown in that photograph? Yes, okay. Mr. Your Honor. So I will say that I have seen snake activity on these three acres okay. in the past. So he um, knew. Now, that, now those, yeah. are, those are, are, are drawn like it's a bunch of snakes. Why, why that? Um, they're actually snake nests. Uh, okay. They're on the, the, this property. But, Your Honor, that's why I kept this property on my own. I sold them the property that had no snakes on it. Are Your Honor, if he knew that there were snakes on this property, you should have had our property inspected. The Mortons purchased this land. Fair and square, we had a contract. There could be snakes on any of that Exactly, land. It's so not you're my that you problem. Now, Mr. Abernathy, I have a snake all... snake in the world? Mr. Abernathy, I saw the video. That's a lot of snakes. Look at that. Yes, Your Honor, and I fully yeah. disclosed everything I knew about both the house and the property. And you said it, you knew there I were snakes. snakes. You didn't tell us that there I were snakes. I did not know that there were snakes. You, you knew there were snakes on your you other three acres. Order in this court. Sorry. Address your comments to me. Snakes don't know where the line is. He Look, knew there were snakes. Mr. Morton, your injuries are pretty severe. Are, are you left-handed? I am, yes, sir. <laughs> you already have $65,000 in medical expenses. It's piling Tell up. me exactly what your injuries are. That's a lot of bills. Okay, well, whenever we arrived at the hospital... Yes, sir. I went inside, I told them I was bit by a rattlesnake. They wasted no time giving me anti-venom. It was swollen, he could barely breathe. <laughs> This is a shot of your hand? <laughs> Mr. Abernathy, you see that, right? I see it, Your Honor. I didn't bite him. I didn't stick well, my hand well, in, a, in a... You in might have that, that, that seems a little callous, though, right? I mean, this is a bad injury. Your Honor, the money that they are asking me for... That's your, that's your arm? <laughs> Look here. The, the money that they are asking for from me for something that happened on their property will change my entire life. I don't, I can't afford that. I've been told that I may lose my You understand that his entire life has changed too, right? I, I, I want you to look at that. That is nasty. That is nasty. I'm still undergoing surgeries today. So, Mr. Abernathy, does this, this rock your heart a little bit? Whether you're responsible well, or not, this gotta touch you, right? Sure, I'm sorry you got bit. I, I may just don't lose know how my this hand. is my problem. You're not... I just don't know how you this is my problem. I sold you a house that's perfectly good, a perfectly good piece of land. Look, he no. disclosed to you... Yes, sir. ...everyone in this room that there are snakes on our property that yes, sir. he knew about. And you, and you agree with that, right? No, that, no Your not Honor, that you I did knew. not know that there were snakes on their property, the property that they bought. There are snakes on my property that I still own. You knew? There were snakes. You put my family at risk because you wanted cash. You're a greedy, inconsiderate, dishonest person. So, Mr. Abner, you're the closest thing to a snake. Like I took a snake. You, you threw it out. destroyed my family, and you need to pay. Before any of the surgeries, I'm forty thousand dollars in debt. Anti-venom is expensive. It yeah. sounds like you, you needs, see that, right? Yes, but it sounds like he needs better insurance, Your Honor. Oh. No. Whoa. Wait, 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 hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. How, where does that come from? He suffered a terrible injury. He could almost lose this hand. Don't you feel a little bit? Your Honor. Even I, if this isn't your fault, don't you say, well, maybe morally, I, I should have told him. Your Honor, my eyes are starting to hurt from rolling so much. I mean, this is... Oh. Oh, come on. You know, your, your sarcasm makes me smell a snake in the grass. Exactly. I'm very sorry you feel that bad. he stuck his hand in the hole. There's oh, a reason. Come on. There's a reason you feel bad, and that's because you knew you, knew. you should have uh, told the truth. Did. Yeah. This court has consulted an expert, Hope Bennett, who's a herpetologist, a snake expert. She's going to tell us a little bit about these rattlesnakes and how they live. So, Sheriff Matt, will you get Miss Bennett? Miss Bennett, come on in. Could you state your name for the record, please? Hope Bennett. All right, Ms. Bennett, what does a herpetologist do? They're actually responsible for just knowing more about snakes and how they work and their habitat and where they're found and being able to handle and understand more about snakes. What are the risks to someone who's been bitten by a snake? Well, the risk because they're hemotoxin, the venom will actually come from the sac, 
when it bites and goes into the tooth. And they'll bite quickly and let go, but it will shoot that venom into the bloodstream or around, and you'll automatically start, your blood will not, will stop clotting, and you'll start having tissue necrosis. It will start kind of rotting the tissue. Mr. Abernathy claimed that the property he sold to the Mortons, he didn't know there were snakes over there. Is that possible? That they stay on one side and don't go to the other? They're going to be hunting for food, and they're going to go where food is available. And so they're also going to be opportunistic, and if there is that many snakes, they're going to move out and find new territory. Like if construction is happening and you're digging up holes, they're going to take advantage of those holes and look for new sources for food. Do you believe that Mr. Abernathy would have no idea whether there are snakes on the property he sold to the Mortons? Unless he did not walk his property at all or did not make his rounds, I can't see how he would not know that there were snakes on his property. Mr. Abernathy, I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bennett. I appreciate you. You may be released. So, Mr. Abernathy, this is nasty stuff. Do you see why these folks have sued you? Your Honor, I'm very sorry that he's going through pain. I'm very sorry they got bit. I'm sorry that they're going through all these things. However, we put the house on a 60-day escrow, which is much longer than normal. He had 60 days to look at the property. They had a home inspector come through, didn't see any snakes. The house they was saw, perfect. The house, the house saw, is perfect. They had a land surveyor come out and no snakes. To mark our property crew. line, he's so, not So they had snakes. people walking this property on their behalf and no snakes. And I show you the document that they signed because they purchased this house as is, where is. Okay, which Sheriff means, Matt, if you'll look at this. It is now up to them. As is, where is. Yes, Your Honor. You all signed a sales contract, right, to buy this house like everybody does when they buy a house. Yes, the uh, sales contract reads, the property is being sold, quote, as is, where is, which has legal significance I'm going to tell you about, end of quote. Such conditions include with all faults, end quotes, as of the offering, contract date, and as of closing. You all see that. And... And uh, that's your signature on that document, Mr. Morton? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, y'all yeah. had this contract. You had an opportunity to read it, right? <laughs> we did. Now, let me give you a legal lesson. Anytime you buy something as is, it is buyer beware. That is, you buy it in its current condition and you take into account everything that's there known and unknown. But I truly believe that he knew and he just, he chose not to tell us about the snakes. There's no way that if he knew there were three large snake dens on his property, that he didn't at least suspect that there I were snakes that. on the property that I that purchased. I understand that, Mr. Morton. I, I do. Mr. Abernathy, you got snake dens uh, on the property you kept. You understand you're under oh, oath today, right? Yes, Your Honor. I want to give you one last chance to shoot straight with me. Did you know there were snakes on the property you sold these people? Your Honor, I did not know that there were snakes on that property that they now own. Sir, I don't say this often, but I think you're a liar. Thank you, Your Honor. We deserve compensation. I may not heal from you. Your Honor, I'm Folks, sorry I've heard enough, that. and I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, the plaintiff, you all have to prove that the defendant, Mr. Abernathy, did something wrong and that his wrong caused the harm to you. Yes, sir. Here, you all have proven that you didn't know snakes were on your property and you were bitten and suffered a terrible, terrible injury. Yes, Your Honor. You all been through a terrible ordeal. Frightened your little girl, changed your life, changed you as a daddy, a husband, a family. And my heart goes out to you. Here, you all have proven that Mr. Abernathy knew that there were snakes on his property and should have told you about the snakes on his property so that you would anticipate there being snakes on your property. Yes. You have shown $65,000 in medical expenses, terrible injury. That's minimum. You all want him also to remove the snakes from your property. You currently have dens on your property, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes sir. You're now, Mr. Abernathy, you believe that you didn't see snakes on the parcel that you sold them. You knew there were snakes on your part, but you never saw them on their part. They had people walking around there that could have told them. And had you seen snakes on their property, you would have told them about it, right? That's right, Your Honor. But you don't believe that this is your fault. Mr. Abernathy, throughout this case, 
I've taken note of your um, approach to your responsibility. I find that you are morally responsible. You should have told them. I find you're ethically responsible. That's just the right thing to do. I also find that you're personally responsible as a man selling something to someone else. However, the Mordens have not proven that you misrepresented anything and you sold this property as is, where is, and that legal term in your contract means something and it means I must find in your favor, despite how much it pains me, and against you, that is my final verdict Chuck. and this matter is adjourned. Oh. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Andrew Finkelstein has to say. The video of the snakes in their den is what nightmares are made of. From what I saw, for this couple, that nightmare was real. But just because the harm is horrific and frightening, the plaintiff still had to prove the defendant's negligence caused the injury. Since they bought the property as is, it was their responsibility to fully investigate the property and find the snakes for themselves. <laughs> on Personal Injury Court. It felt like my entire body was on fire. That's your skin? That is what my skin looks like. On my bed was literally hundreds and hundreds of baby spiders crawling up and down the bed frame, in and out of my pillow. You're asking this court to award you $50,000. He obviously brought them with him. He's probably unclean. A live spider crawled out of my ear. That's the spider coming out of your ear? Judge Gino Brogdon spent 10 years on the bench ruling on cases worth billions of dollars. Now he presides over some of the largest claims in TV history. This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Foster versus Brooks. Mr. Foster, it's my understanding you're suing Ms. Brooks for injuries you sustained in an apartment that you rented from her. You're asking this court to award you past medical expenses of $20,000, mm -hmm. future medical expenses of $5,000, pain and suffering of $25,000 for a total award of $50,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Brooks, you believe this is, if there ever was a case, that it's his fault, this is the one. He is the author of his own fate, and this is not your fault. That is correct, Your Honor. Well, let's get into the legal sauce. How did you come to rent this apartment? Uh, about six months ago, I, I moved into a, a new apartment. Everything seemed great. It was, it's near where I work. Uh, it's near where a park where I love to run. And everything seemed to be going well. That is until a few days after I moved in, every night I would wake up itching everywhere. And in the morning, I would have red bumps all over my arms, my chest, my back, everywhere. I mean, I had no idea what was going on. Now, you're yeah. not one of those allergic people, are you? I didn't think I had any allergies, but that's all that I, I assumed could be happening. I thought maybe it was old, old paint. And this is what your skin looked like? Yes, I would wake up every morning broke, broken out in these red bumps all over my body. But I wasn't about to move out. I just, I just moved in. So I figured I would toughen it out as long as I could. Ms. Brooks, this is your building, right? Yes, it is, Your Honor. How'd and you I come take, to get this building? I take great pride in this. I got this building from my grandparents, so it was handed down to me. I'm a retired veteran, and I've been a Thank manager of service. this apartment building for four years. It's about a 40 to 50 unit complex. I love my tenants. I know them by name. They know me by name. I know their grandchildren. I know people who come in and out of there, so I don't take this lightly. I take pride in what I do because, like I said, this is a top-rating thing for me. So when Mr. Foster came to me, I let him fill out the application. I reviewed all of his references and his employment. So I thought that everything would be fine, and I took him in as a tenant. In other words, I took him in as part of our community and our family. So what happened? I woke up in the middle of the night like I usually do, but this time it wasn't itching. It felt like my entire body was on fire. Whoa. 
okay? Okay. It was the worst pain I've ever felt in, in, my, in my entire life. That's I, your skin? That is what my skin looks like, and I hop out of bed, I, I flip the lights on, and that's when I saw what can only be described as something out of a horror film, because on my bed was literally hundreds and hundreds of baby spiders crawling up and down the bed frame, in and out of my pillow. I looked out on my body, they were on, they were on, my, on my legs, on my torso. I, they, they were eating me alive as I was sleeping. That's where you got these ulcers from on your skin? Yes. Miss Brooks, I mean, you, you said you run a clean place. I mean, how does that happen? Your Honor, my, I stand by my word. I, I don't know where Mr. Foster is coming up with these ideas of he woke up with this and all this going on, but I stand by what I say. I take great pride, and we've never had any complaints I'm until not Mr. talking Fo about what Hold happened on. in the... I, I tried to drive myself to urgent care. When I, when I got there, the red bumps started, started to bubble and fizz, and the doctor said that they were ulcerating everywhere. I'm not talking to you. Wow. Gotta have order in the court. Yes, Address sir. me, please. Yes, Your Honor. Talk As I me, was Ms. saying, I go by the laws and the rules and regulations, because once again, I'm a veteran, so I believe in doing things in order and on time and how they should be. But We've this happened had... on your property, though. Your Honor, he must have brought them with him, because let me tell you why. I brought them with I them? Who? My... I'm... I might I, have a dog, Honor, I might have a cat, I'm not gonna have spiders. And it's ironic that I didn't have, part. it wasn't any kind of complaints, it wasn't any, we check our apartments before a tenant move in and after a tenant moved in. So there wasn't anything there. The only thing I can come up with, and I wanna say once again, I feel for Mr. Foster's pain and his anguish, but that's not my fault, Your Honor. He obviously brought him with him, Probably because of his living conditions, he's probably unclean. But, but frankly, listen, when I was in law school, I rented an apartment, and that's what my landlord said. Hey, we didn't have roaches. You brought those roaches with you. Of course, she's going to say that everything's no. fine. No, why so, would Mr. I Foster, be in the top notch of my rating game, sir? So, Mr. Foster. Yes? What did the doctor do for your, your wounds, these ulcers and bubbles on your skin from the spiders? I was immediately given emergency treatment for a, for a venomous spider bite. And then in, in the morning, while the doctor was examining me, a live spider crawled out of my ear. My... I mean, what the hell did I rent? What have I gotten myself into? The spider was actually inside your ear and it crawled out? That's nasty, <clears throat> nasty. What did the doctor say to you about that? The doctor said, in her 10 years of being a medical professional, she has never seen a live spider crawl out of an ear. Coming up, you submitted a video that the doctor took uh, at the emergency room. That's a spider coming out of your ear? If Mr. Spider-Man would keep himself clean, then he probably wouldn't have those... This has nothing to do with I my have... cleanliness. Your Honor. That seems a bit flippant to me. This isn't about dirty ears. That's a spider coming out of somebody's head. Look at that. That's his ear. The spider was actually inside your ear and it crawled out? What did the doctor say to you about that? She has never seen a live spider crawl out of an ear. It's called hygiene. It's called having a clean apartment complex Which that doesn't allow spiders one. to nest in the, Address in the ear. Address me. Mr. Foster, you submitted a video that the doctor took uh, at the emergency room. Let's take a peek at it. This is your ear. This is, this is my ear, and if, and if you look closely, watch. That's the spider coming out of your ear? Okay, that, that was a spider coming out of your ear. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, I, I see why he sued you, I mean... Well, well, Your Honor, let, let, let's be clear. If Mr. Spider-Man would keep himself clean, then he probably wouldn't have those... This has nothing to do with I my have, cleanliness. Your Honor, Look at I me. Have right here. I mean, hold on, hold I have on. right here. We're, we're not going to talk all at the same time, because I can't hear you. Yes, but, sir. But let me go back. You said 
that if he would keep himself clean. That seems a bit flippant to me. This isn't about dirty ears. That's a spider coming out of somebody's head. Your Honor, we did receive... I want you to look carefully at this video. I this is a live Honor, spider. And I understand. Watch, I want you to look at it and watch it. Look at that. That's his ear. Oh, my God. That's a spider. <laughs> Do you know how long I was out of that apartment? I left the apartment in the middle of the night. The doctor didn't examine me until 7 in the morning. That spider was in my body, alive, doing God knows what, for over almost seven hours. Miss Brooks, do you have... Uh, any idea of how frightening this must have been? Your Honor, like I said, I know it's frightening and I feel for Mr. Foster. But here, let me hand this to you. This is our rating, if you may, Your Honor. Sheriff, if you if can retrieve the document. Now, tell me what I'm looking at, Ms. Brooks. You are looking at a five-star rating that we receive for impeccable cleanliness and keeping up to standards property. Well, it reads, verified resident, overall score... Maintenance rocks. Management always responds super fast and fixes any slash all issues I've ever had. Then cleanest apartments I've ever lived in. Spectacular That's right. place. That's I'd recommend right. to everyone. You've got an overall five star rating. Because I want my apartment to be top notch. I take it seriously as if that's my home. But you've got a spider infestation in your building that is undisputed. This man was eaten alive by the spiders. Next. It's thousands of spiders. He could have been killed. These are your spiders. This court has consulted a spider expert. Female spider, she can lay 200 babies in each sack. So if there's a sack in Mr. Foster's bed and it breaks, these things are all over him. Absolutely. I ran into his girlfriend. She told me she had some things that she was carrying out of the apartment. We're gonna get the real truth now. Did you bring her to court with you today? Yes, I did, Your Honor. What are you doing here? You know why I'm here. Hundreds and hundreds of baby spiders. They were eating me alive. That's where you got these ulcers from? Yes. I feel for Mr. Foster's pain and his anguish, but that's not my fault, Your Honor. That's the spider coming out of your ear? Mr. Foster, how long did it take them to get that spider out of your ear? Out of my ear? Make yeah. up something real quick. Hmm. Well, well, hold on. You think this is a joke? No, I do not, Your Honor. Well, but you, I think you Ms. treat Honor, it like it's a joke. She, no, Your Honor, I do not. And I don't want it to come across that way. And I feel for Mr. Spider-Man over here. She runs a family apartment complex. And, oh, she feels for me. She feels for the scars that I might have for That's the rest of I my life. Look at but his arm. Your Honor. Those, I, those I, are from I the spider bite. It's on my shoulder. It is everywhere. This is not my fault. He's trying to make How something How is it not your fault? You're the for. owner Brooks, of the apartment complex. Address me. Miss Brooks, I want to understand how hundreds of spiders get in his apartment. So this court has consulted a spider expert. Yes, Miss Natalia Breslauer. Yes, Will you sir. bring Miss Breslauer into the courtroom, Sheriff Matt? Sure. What does a spider expert do? I do all sorts of wildlife, so anything that's native here. But um, today, I actually brought with me two black widow spiders. Let me get this right. You brought two black widow spiders into my courtroom? I did, Your Honor. Sheriff Matt, will, will you uh, go uh, take a peek at those, bring them over here so I can see them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really kidding. Leave those spiders over there. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Breslauer, what happens when a spider bites you? Well, specifically with these guys, you're gonna have a negative reaction regardless of who you are or your immune system. It's gonna be painful. They're very, very rarely lethal, but if you are allergic to their venom or you have a compromised immune system from a previous illness or a previous spider bite, it can become very serious and complicated. Mr. Foster had these things all over him. How does he get bitten by hundreds of spiders? In fact, a female spider, she can lay 200 babies in each sack and she lays five sacks at once. So that's a thousand spiders. So there are 200 babies in that sack? Yes. So what happens with the sack? They will break through that sack and they will emerge. So again, that's a thousand spiders in his apartment. So when they come out of this sack... <laughs> that's about 200. 
<laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Spiders are real special friends to me. So, uh, so if there's a sack in Mr. Foster's bed and it breaks, these things are all over him. Absolutely. And again, it's more likely that there's more than one sack. Does it present a, a, a death threat to have that many spiders on you? If he is allergic to their venom, which he had a pretty severe reaction, so it's most likely that that's the case, yes, it becomes very serious. It's so he could have died. Yeah. If he didn't seek medical treatment. Thank you, ma'am. You are welcome. Released. They came along with his bed, Your Honor, in his furniture, in his, his stuff. He brought them into our apartment. You read for yourself, and you actually said, Your Honor, he must have been lying on him with his bed, his own bed. He well, I didn't him. mean lying like not telling the truth. No, I'm I understand about that. laying down on the sack. That's what I'm, I'm referring to, sir. Even with this happening in your building, it's thousands of spiders, he could have been killed, and you just keep saying, we run a clean place, we run a clean place. I agree with you, but these are your spiders. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, I don't just keep saying that we run a clean place. I've given you proof, and yes, I also have a witness. I ran into his girlfriend, and she told me she had some things that she was carrying out of the apartment, and... We're going to get the real truth now, what Mr. Foster is not telling you. Did you bring her to court with you today? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Excuse me? And she will confirm that I have been honest with you from the time I stepped in here on telling on Mr. Foster. And Mr. Foster is just trying to get money. Because I have gone above and beyond. I'm no slum landlord. I don't run that kind of a show. So your witness is Miss Jennifer Penny? Yes, sir. Sheriff Matt, will you retrieve Miss Penny from the hallway? Yes, Your Honor. The verdict is in. Come on up, Miss Penny. What are you doing here? You know why I'm here. Uh, Robert's my ex-boyfriend. Don't think the blame is at all with her. I think it's all with Robert. You spent the night there when you and Robert were in a relationship? Yes, Your Honor. I would spend a lot of my nights over there. Then I started noticing the little tiny creatures. What do you have specifically to say about how spiders got into his apartment? truth now what Mr. Foster is not telling you. Mr. Foster is just trying to get money. So your witness is Miss Jennifer Penny? Yes, sir. Sheriff Matt, will you retrieve Miss Penny from the hallway? Yes, sir. And we will find out the truth. And, and we'll see what Mr. Foster have to say about that. And it will likely set one of y'all free. Yes, sir. Come on up, Miss Penny. What are you doing here? You know why I'm here. What's your relationship to the plaintiff? Uh, Robert's my ex-boyfriend. How long were you all dating? I'd say about four months or so. What can you tell me about the way Miss Brooks runs this building? Like I had heard, a very tight ship. I don't think the blame is at all with her. I think it's all with Robert. As a matter of fact, I know it's all with Robert. You spent the night there when you and Robert were in a relationship? Yes, Your Honor. I would spend a lot of my nights over there. I started noticing strange things, like, the first few times I stayed over, like, he always would keep it dark inside of the apartment. Like, the blinds were always closed, curtains drawn. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was because he wanted to hide the fact that he was a slob. Then I started noticing the little tiny creatures. He has a very sick obsession with these creatures. What do you have specifically to say about how spiders got into his apartment? He has a habitat of them, Your Honor. There you go. Miss Penny, I heard what you say, but how can you prove that he actually was raising spiders in this apartment? Oh, I submitted a picture, Your Honor, of there the habitat go. that he keeps them in. Oh. Yeah. Boom. Okay, let's take a peek at it. Is, is this what you had in your apartment there? Your Honor, spiders are very, very good for the home. They eat, they eat, they, they eat, they eat bugs. Come on, that, man. They eat bugs that, that, that spread diseases. You they could have fleas. told me they that. Eat, they eat mosquitoes. They eat cockroaches. Mr. Foster, the law does not allow someone to start a fire and then take credit for putting it out. Here, I'm telling you right now, you have proven that the wrong caused harm. Your wrong caused your harm. I find in your favor your that's my final verdict. This matter is concluded. Thank you. Thank you. Your Honor, thank you. Can I say something, Thank please? You. Can I say something, please? My, my enclosure is perfectly safe. 
These were not my spiders. My spiders would never attack me. Okay, I take good care of them. I, 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 I feed them. Mr. Foster, you have woven a web of deceit that now wraps you in your own lies. Get out of my courtroom. Look at my arm. Mr. What are you doing here?